how you doing everybody um, today I wanted to have a YouTube discussion on pricing when I first started this hobby I was shocked at how expensive good trees were um, and last week someone came in and basically did the exact same thing I did 20 years ago um, they saw a uh, a maple that I've been growing for 15 years and they looked at the trunk and they looked at the branching and they looked at the the canopy and they said oh this is so beautiful then they looked at the price and they quickly put it up and they said I had no idea they were that expensive it was a $500 maple um, but the, the maple was air layered it has been grown repeatedly it's been cut back repeatedly it's been worked repeatedly um, and it wasn't even a finished bonsai yet. It was still worked refined stock, but it was not a bonsai. Um, and today I wanted to talk about that a little bit. Bonsai pricing is subjective. Um, I know in the East Coast and the West Coast, certain material uh, may be more expensive, depending on how much material is available. Uh, if you go to California, there is a large amount of actually black pine and trident maples that have been grown in the ground for 20, 30, 40 years. So it's a pretty inexpensive place to to purchase that material, relatively speaking. Uh, I know that here in Florida, we can grow tropicals really well. Um, our ficuses thicken up faster. They shoot aerial roots faster than anywhere else. They are very inexpensive here. The further down south you go and the bigger the nurseries are, the, you can get them relatively inexpensive. However, black pines are very expensive here. Not very many people grow them. They don't grow as fast. There's a lot of tricks um, to it. So it is relatively subjective. But I wanted to go over some basics. It's good to be armed with the knowledge. So when you go to a bonsai nursery or any nursery, you know what, to, what you're looking for. Um, there's a lot of conflicting terms that uh, I hear thrown around like stock. Um, there are some people that will come out and say, hey, I'm looking for stock. But when I show them our stock, they say, no, no, I want something that has the branches wired out and, and put in a pot. Well, to me, that's not stock. At that point, it's if the branches have been wired, it's considered bonsai. But to that person, they're looking for something that they can continue on and create into their own vision to make a bonsai tree. But so to them, it's stock. <clears throat> However, we do have terms here that we consider certain designations. Uh, stock is typically going to be cheaper. Uh, this is a good example of a young piece of stock. This is a Juniper Spercummins Nana. It's in a plastic training pot. It's never been worked. It doesn't have any wire on it. It has never had wire on it. It's young. At this point, it's being grown up specifically so we can put some wire on here and start bending it and shaping it and start selecting branching. Um, this size at the shop would go for ten to twenty dollars depending. Um, this would come up around uh, maybe fifteen. This would come up around twenty five dollars. This is the next size up. Um, not much better. It's a, it's a young piece of material Whereas this one's maybe two to three years old, this one's three to four years old. This is a twin trunk. So, and it's also in a plastic pot. It's not in bonsai soil. It's in uh, our uh, proprietary blend of uh, pine bark and perlite uh, with some additives, micronutrients and whatnot. This has been grown for 12 years. This was an air layer. Um, it's been grown out long to get the trunk large. Then it was cut back. Then it was cut back again when the branches were closer. And then two years ago, it was cut back even again um, to get more close branching. Junipers can't be cut down to a stump and regrown. Uh, they need foliage. Uh, and I'm just talking about junipers specifically. This goes, there's different techniques for the hundreds of varieties of bonsai that we grow. But these are just some of the things that you need to be aware of when you're looking at purchasing stock. Um, this has a good base. This has movement it has taper it has interest so this is a good piece of stock that you can take and wire and shape and really at the end of the day 
you can have a nice start to a future bonsai tree. Uh, once we put wires on them and we have branches, to me, it's no longer stock. It would be considered uh, pre-bonsai um, at that point. Um, this was just recently wired out and shaped. This was a um, Junipers per Cummins name as well. Um, we selected the final branching. Uh, it's been wired. It's not in the final position in the, in, in the pot, but it is in a finished container. It's not an expensive finished container. This is a, a production Chinese container, but it is a finished uh, high-fired container. So to me, this would be considered bonsai. Even pre-bonsai would be accurate. Um, and this goes to a totally different level. It's no longer considered stock in my classification process. Um, if you come to my nursery and you see a tree with wire on it, it's going to be more expensive. Because uh, at that point it's starting to look like a tree. It's starting to have um, more refinement, more detailed work. It's been opened up so the sunlight can hit it fur further in so we can get back budding. Um, at that point the style is there. It's um, no longer as open to different interpretations, although you could change it. Uh, but now it's more of a piece of artwork. Uh, so the value goes up. Every time we wire this tree, the price will have to go up to compensate for the rewiring. However, every time you wire this tree, the branches will become more refined. You'll have more twigginess to wire, more definition. Uh, the difference between a good tree and a great tree is about 10 feet. Um, this is a pretty good tree. but if you went into it um, and started looking at it, you'll notice there's not a lot of uh, refinement, not a lot of taper yet in the branches. Um, that'll happen with time. And that's why we can have a tree that's $250 and a tree that's $800 that are roughly the same size. It's really all about the refinement. That's typically time. Time is money. So I'm hoping that this helps you a little bit as far as getting an idea, a concise vision um, of what bonsai trees cost and what basically goes into why they cost what they do. If you have any questions, you can always shoot us an email. Uh, you can go on our website at schleisbonsai.com and you can send us a picture or a question. I'll be more than happy to help you. Uh, this is Jason from Schleis Bonsai, and thank you for taking the time to watch.